focusing on one aspect of quality of place and characteristics, how important um, to you personally, and then maybe also answer on behalf of Leadership Next, is mass transit to this region for keeping young talent and attracting young talent? I think, I think it's a key piece of the puzzle. It's, you know, we, my wife and I made a firm decision, decision to come here with, without really reliable mass transit. Um, and and it's, it's, it's an easy piece of the puzzle that we can make work even with the tools that we have. And so there's really no excuse why we, we shouldn't have something that's at least more, more integrated, more efficient, more effective. Having two bus systems is ridiculous um, for a shrinking region. Having, having um, a, a, an infrastructure of a people mover without a proper feeding system to it is, is ridiculous too. Um, and and there, there's ways that we can just coordinate what we have better to make a system that, that everyone can use, not just talent, but, but everyone. And then focus on finding the funding vehicles necessary for building a, a true infrastructure for, for whether it be rail-based or, or rapid bus transit or, or something that, that really starts to connect these, these rather disjunct nodes mm -hmm. that we have right now. If we can start connecting those and you connect Dearborn to downtown, downtown to Royal Oak, where you look to Pontiac, Pontiac to wherever, that's going to really, I think, be kind of the, the um, incubator we need to, to, to start to concentrate talent. And, and, to, and, and though you'll be living in Dearborn, your friend might live in Detroit, it's very easy to, to go back and forth. And it, what do you think in terms of the next um, two to five years? There's a lot of can-do attitude with the groups that we mentioned in terms of the young talent and mm -hmm. organizing folks around policy, around issues. Um, what role do you think groups like Leadership Next can play in helping us get to mass transit? It's difficult because it's so, so kind of not, not quite related to, to Leadership Next work, but what it can do is it can, it can educate um, young leaders about the issues that are out there and, and educate them about the, the policy making process and the pro policy promulgating process. So how actual council policy or state policy gets executed by, um, your, executed by your agencies or executed by staff. And really in some ways that's, that's where you can implement, or not implement, but affect a lot of, of, a lot of um, what's going on is, is working with, working with staffs, working with foundations, working with stakeholders and agencies to make sure that, that this policy proposed by your political branches is really being implemented in a way that, that promotes growth. 